The International Olympic Committee disqualifying eight female badminton players for being, well, very, very bad. We're going to talk to Cassell Brian Lowe. She is in London right now with this developing story. All right, so what we know uh, is that four doubles teams, two from South Korea, one from China, one from Indonesia, were disqualified for not trying to play well enough. People can't even understand why they do that. What happened? Exactly. And, and just to clarify, it's, it's actually the... the Badminton Federation that disqualified them, not the IOC. Gotcha. Um, but as you say, they were disqualified for basically not exerting themselves. I mean, specifically, they infringe rules which require them to kind of use their best efforts to win a match and conducting themselves in a manner that's, um, they're accused of conducting themselves in a manner that's abusive or detrimental to the sport. Now, people can't understand why you would want to play badly. This comes down to this sort of round-robin tournament that they are involved in. Can you explain the nuances of that and, and why they would try, try and actually lose during the Olympics? Yes, yeah, so this does seem to be related to the way the, um, the, the contest at this stage is run. So at the stage they were playing at, it's a round-robin stage. The, the idea behind that is that everyone gets to play, and then they'll go through to the, the next round becomes a knockout stage. Um, now, in terms of why they might want to lose in the round robin stage, uh, there's a couple of things that could be going on, um, including you know whether they wanted, uh, for example, a Chinese team where they may not have wanted to face their competitors until you know uh, a final round, or um, you know otherwise they you know may just want to be saving their energy. Now, NBA teams years ago were accused of throwing games uh, in order to get a poor wet record so that they would have a better spot in the draft lottery. They had to change the rules to, to sort of mitigate that problem. Any talk over there that they may have to change the way these tournaments are played to get around this issue? Well, certainly reopen the debate. And I think it was only relatively recently that uh, the round robin stage was included so there will certainly be some discussion about whether this is the right way to go going forward. Now not very sportsmanlike to be doing this or sportswomanlike. The crowds booing I hear. What was it like? Yes yeah, so it was very unpopular with the crowds um, met with uh, loud boos and uh, in one of the two matches uh, in question the, um, the referee you know at one point had threatened to send both teams off but he relinquished and then the game finished but certainly unpopular with fans there's some question you know about whether um, the, the cost of tickets would be refunded huh. but um, both the Olympic Committee the IOC and the London Games organizers local said there would be no refund for those who uh, paid for tickets. Well, you, still, you got to see a game. You just had to see a very bad game. Let's talk about this now. I wonder how the other athletes in different sports from these countries have reacted, if they've reacted at all, because you always want to avoid a scandal in sports. But in the Olympics, you really don't want to have that. Has, have there been any athletes who are speaking out saying, you know, we just don't condone this behavior and we sure wish it hadn't cast such a bad light on our country? Well, yeah, there's certainly been a lot of athletes within within badminton talking about this today, uh, and reaction has been mixed. I mean, there have been some that say, you know, it was inevitable the way that the you know the competition stages work, and it's not the fault of the athletes. You know, it, it's the rules that should be changed. While others say, you know, there's no excuse for this. You know, it, it brings a bad name to badminton, and you know, it was very right that they got disqualified. 